finally back we're finally back Gran Turismo uh, daily races you probably know what they are by now I'm doing it on Tuesday we've already had a day this week okay welcome to all you viewers welcome to all the new subscribers welcome to the old subscribers whoever you may be anyway look I went on the internet this week and I found this Michael you Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much, Michael, for becoming a member. Good way to start the stream. Thank you very much, mate. Righty then. Okay. Oh, I could jump into this one. Nope, no, I can't. Forget that. Missed it by seconds. Okay, we're gonna let's jump into this into this one. Um, what else have we got? Toyota Sports 800. At Maggior Center. Okay. At least it's not the. What was it last time? Was it the Abar 500? At least they changed the car. Something different, isn't it? And of course, we could. I don't know if I will. I don't know if I fancy it. There's always this. I mean, what's the, the last one at 920? Ooh. <sighs> Group two at Dragon Trail. This one requires some practice. And I won't have done any. Which isn't a good idea, you know? It's not a good idea. Um Okay, let's jump in to do uh race B. 
we're doing? Roof of Gan Trophy. Could have guessed it. Could have guessed it. What are we doing around here? Into the 27s. Damn, son. Um, a couple of you guys getting yourselves onto the wheels after being on a controller for a long time. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Good to hear it. Let's jump into this, shall we? Race entry. Have I got a McCann trophy? I have indeed. There it is. Must put a livery on it. Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Red XX, red ring XX. Okay, let's have a look. One sec. Um, I presume you mean on Kudos Prime. Let me just bring that baby up for you. XX, red ring. God, who remembers the red ring of death on Xbox? XX, red ring. Those were the worst days of my life. Red rings. Oh, baby. Hello. Okay, let's bring that up. We've got another Everest climber here. Look at the climb. He got to 20,000 a couple of times. Yes, look at that. Oh, my God. That is diabolical. Diabolical. Um, 3,600 races. On, he's won 120 of them. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Some people are just very, very funky creatures, aren't they? R4M Shooter, have you gotten any inside info on GT7? No, unfortunately. But there's been a lot of rumours recently, hasn't there, about, um, about, about it being a release title for 5. Um, someone's been saying... Someone's been saying that we need to wait until February the 5th, I think, and then we'll know for sure. Um, I don't know how reliable that is, but we'll see. I think, well, hopefully it won't be too long before we just know for sure. Um, the thing with this is, like, I'm, I, I just want to wait for, like, a proper confirmation for rumours, if you know what I mean. But... I'm sure we'll, we'll find out at some point. All right, let's just whip up a livery for this band boy. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Kevin, for the donation, mate. Yeah, the penalty system at the moment is basically non-existent. It doesn't really, it doesn't exist, folks. Um, you can just, you can murder people. You can murder people, basically. There's no two ways about it. I like that. Minimalistic. I either like the liveries to be pretty good looking, as in like a racy kind of livery, or just obviously hideously awful. Just for the lols. Find I'll be some bad ones here. That's pretty Look at that, it's like a tongue at the front. That is pretty distracting. For anyone looking behind at that thing. Oh, remember that? Didn't they do like broadband like ages ago? Do they still exist? They probably got bought out by someone. Yes, five. No. Come on, we can do worse than that. Show me, show me the worst you can do, Gran Turismo people. It does look like a face though, doesn't it, on the front there? Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Thank you very much, Bailey. Um, well, you're in luck, actually. Jimmy and I, Mr. Jimmy Broadbent, I mean, you should probably know who he is by now. We're racing this Saturday. Yes. True. Then. Yeah, we're racing this Saturday. So next week, you should have some videos. It'll be good fun. Uh, yeah, so not too long away at the moment. I'm just going to do this one. Now, the problem is um, we can't... Well, with this race coming up on Saturday, we can record um, with how we did it last year. But for the season, 
the actual season. This isn't actually part of the season, this race coming up. It's just a warm-up race kind of thing. Um, but for the actual season, you can't mount the camera to your helmet, which is what I've been doing before. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Mixmofo62. Much appreciated, my guy. Thank you very much. Um... But yeah, you can't mount the camera to your helmet anymore. You're not allowed to do it because of some rules. I think it's related to the Schumacher skiing accident. I think he had a camera on and it might have affected the way that... I don't know, something along those lines. But basically, I can't mount the camera. It's some, some insurance rule that they have. Um, so the only real option I have is... They, they let you mount a camera on the front of the car. If I... And um, yeah, there's those cam box cameras, but they won't. I don't think they'll let us use it. If they do, then I'll use one. But from what I've been told so far, I don't think they will let us. I'll show anyway, you. look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Frederick, for becoming a member. Much appreciated, mate. Welcome to the club. Welcome along. Um, so. This front panel, this um, top right there, you can mount it onto that. You can mount a camera onto that. Um, so, you know, it's not the worst solution in the world, but the problem is that you won't get like the hand movement. Um, and like when I get out of the car, you know, the camera stays on the car, so it won't be, it won't feel very personal. Um, so yeah, just working out how to how to uh, chest mount they won't allow, shoulder mount I don't think they'll allow either. So basically, can't mount any camera to yourself. It's kind of annoying um, because the cam uh, the videos did really well. The karting video did so well in 2019. So it's a bit of a bit of a shame. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people watch those kind of videos. Um, I think... How many views? It's got... One of them got one and a half million, the Spa one. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, MixMofo. Thanks for the donation and thank you for becoming a member. Oh, God. Honestly... What the f are we doing here? Thank you, Brandon, for our streamly reminder. <laughs> Cheers, Brandon. Brandon always shows and up. It's all lights out. And There's a giant lizard on the track. Hire Momos as your cameraman. I'd love to have. I mean, I'm sure you guys would love to watch it. Like, you know, um, you get these one-to-one -one interviews on TV I don't know, like Piers Morgan or someone does it I do a one-to-one -one interview with, with Momos just to, f to find out the story behind the legend who is he and why does he do the things he does fourth go through there this is going to be quite a slow lap but it's going to be my qualifying lap I'll be somewhere near the back, I'd imagine. Yeah, the problem with Daily Race C, I mean, I like... Oh, God. Breaking way too early into there. I mean, I like Daily Race C. I like it once it settles down. I just don't like the start. Um, the problem is, you know, that chicane at the start, at the end of the lap, and it spreads out the field. So, if you're in second, second place at the start, you're already, I think it's like 2.7 seconds away from the leader before you get to the first corner. It really is quite silly. Um, I just hope that they can, can improve that, because to me, that's quite a big problem in the game at the moment. Any track with a chicane, when they do the rolling starts, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of silly. Uh, 
Okay, here we go then. Uh, this is daily race. Um, the FIA race today is Dragon Trail Seaside. Uh, Dragon no, Dragon Trail Gardens Two. Quite an interesting one, but um, something different. At least they're quite creative with the FIA races. <laughs> anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Lewis. Lewis Marcio. Much appreciated, mate. Thanks for becoming a member. I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter, um, there's a girl on Twitch. She streams over on Twitch. She does like political, um, political chat. Just talks with guests on there. And she was really, really entitled. She was like, um, basically saying all of you guys watching for free you should just donate five pounds to me a month like, well no one has to donate to you plus she's basically saying that you're like you're, her viewers were leeches just for watching her and not paying her like I don't know if you, some of you would have seen it but I don't know her name but As soon as she said it, like loads of her, um, loads of her followers, what's it called on? Which drivers? Can they pay? I don't remember that. Loads of them just un unsubbed, unfollowed her instantly. Quite deserved. Yeah, Charlie, I, I watched um, Inguinzo. I watched his version of it. That's how, that's how I found out about it. Starting 15, pretty much last. It's Let's broken! Go. It's broken! Anti stalled! It's oh. off. Fuck! Um, Bry, thank you very much, mate. Um, be prepared for some people to ram you on race C. Yeah, it's a me it can be and a mess. Lights out! There's a giant lizard on the track. Aritra Mondal. Since watching your karting videos, they have been favourites from your channel. Anyways, keep up the good videos and all the best for the race. Thank you very much, mate. Do appreciate that. Um, but yeah. Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. So look out next week for the, the video that's coming up on karting. It will be a little bit different with different angles, so we'll see. What about a racing helmet with an integrated camera? Yeah. So this thing called cam box, where you have inside the visor, you have a little camera. But I'm not sure they'll let us use it. If they do let us use it, I'll use that because it's quite a good solution. Uh, but we'll have to see. Um, the power is in my hands, unfortunately. Right, let's go. 15th on the grid, four laps, not too long. The milk delivery. I do love Brad Tatch. That's happening, mate. Get wrecked. Got a flag. See ya! Wait, he was, a pole, he was the pole sitter. Oh, God. That shows you what happens when you don't practice. this track I used to hate it I'll be honest I used to hate it I got on board with it I need to do 200 laps around here don't you think right come on let's get back into it four laps isn't enough I wish it was a grid start I wish it was a grid start bunch of fun up a bit make it more fun Oh man, this car is so planted. What it hold third gear through there? Tommy T in the house. Good to see you, man. 
Oh man. It's just a slipstream train. Everyone's in the same car. Sometimes I don't mind if everyone's in the same car. That'd be alright. Terry, thank you very much. I'll read that in a moment, but I do appreciate it. What car am I in? I am in the Renault McGann Trophy. Basically the car you can see in front. Oh, TH always wide. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Fogbane. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a member. Quite a streak of uh, me new members today. Good to see. All right, let's catch up with this group. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. And a Cody 98. Much appreciated to you as well. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, another yellow flag. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Stay black. Yeah, Sainty Croix, mate, needs to happen, doesn't it? And the bath, yeah, Mount Panorama. That one, that would be a good one. So many we could do. There's so many. I mean, I'm trying, how many endurances have I done? Really long ones. About seven. I mean, we haven't even done into Lagos, Brands Hatch. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Sainty Croix. Up in the socks. Yeah, man. 95. Was it the 95 Impreza from WRC? From Heel Tread. Good stuff. Can't go wrong with these. Plus, they're worth a tenth of a lap. A tenth of a second. A tenth of a second per lap. Of course. Or big boom on the front of his car. Back of his car. Is that where I'm supposed to hit him? Smash him off at turn one. Oh, don't need to. He's gone by himself. Right. Big group of three here. Come on, let's get anyway, one of look, these. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Oh, he's white. Casual dad. Welcome to the Shadow Realm. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you, members. Lots of new members. Good to see you, guys. Thank you. All right, here we go. I need to follow him, don't I? Get the slipstream. Could have actually gone for that. In a way, it breaks so early. my pace was compared to the top I think there's a little bit more speed to get from that yeah, 11th <laughs> made a silly mistake on that first lap it cost me quite a bit Kimmy you missed the presentation by Pele will you get over it <laughs> yeah I, I was having a shit <laughs> thank you serious star multimedia that livery so weird Righty then, on to the big one, Spa. Get good. Was there someone in a different car? No, everyone used the trophy. I think we have to go back to that race and use something different. 
See if anything else works. There must be another car that can challenge that. I think us Europeans all use the same car. If you look at the Americas, I think people use different cars. They're not afraid to try different things. In Europe, everyone's just... Who's the one that's at the top of the leaderboard? Okay, what is the top of the list? Uh, the R8. 32.9. What do I... 1.4 seconds. Anyway, off. look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Not too bad. I'm not too unhappy about that. Oscar Jorgen Sandholt. What a name you've got there, matey. Thank you very much. Do appreciate it. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. I'll do the Porsche, I think. Uh, Michael, Super GT, my relaxation after a 14 hour shift. Hi, Steve. Trust you are well. Yeah, man, all good over here. In fact, I'm going to Monaco tomorrow, strangely enough. Um, got invited um, by Fanatec. Um, they got a WRC esports event. Oh, I'm only going to go for... I'm leaving like tomorrow night and I'll be back Friday night, so I'll only be there for like two. But, um, should be good fun. I'm um, going to meet some WRC guys, and we might go around some of the stages in Monaco. Cool. But... Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Thank you, Akoli. 98. Three laps of this track. I'm in. Have you gone? Much appreciated, mate. Yeah, Brands Hatch deserves a 200 lap, don't you think? Don't you think? These are... I've got, I've actually got a an imposter. Look at this, R4M Shadow V. And I think I've actually got an R4M Shadow GT, but with um, hyphens. And I don't, I think he's Norwegian as well. I don't know, he's not English. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tons of R4M people. We're going to take over the world, I think. We really are. 200 laps in Willow Springs. Oh God. Willow Springs, Brands Hatch, Nurburgring Grand Prix circuit. Haven't done. Into Lagos. Did I say that? So many tracks. Sainty Croix. Nordschleife. 200 laps. That's just stupid, though. Not going to do that. Adior. Alsace. Alsace. What a, what a circuit. Forgotten. The forgotten circuit. Get in. Yeah, Lewis. Northern R Speedway. We could do a stream where we do... I mean, what are all the ovals? Um, Northern Isle. BB Raceway. other ovals are there? There's a few, isn't there? There's a few more. Broken. Blue Moon Bay. It's broken! Yeah. And she's still... It's oh. off. Fuck! Bob Bain? What about autographs? I'm a big fan. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever signed an autograph for anyone. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that. But, um, there'll be a first for everything, I guess. I'm waiting for the top for the first day where a girl comes up to me and asks me to sign her breasts. I'm just waiting for that to happen. Once that happens, you've made it. Well, that's that's the barometer of being a YouTube celebrity. And until that's happened, I'm no one. Turn. This can be quite a frustrating race. It's fun, but sometimes the car just... I don't know. You have to really wrestle it. Uh, 
Um, I've raced, I've done one one of these races, only one, um, and I did it in the Porsche. That's why I'm sticking to this car, so I know what I'm doing. Um, but I think most people go for the R8. Interestingly enough, because um, normally that car isn't that great on tyres, and that is sort of a factor in the race. Anyway, look. Different. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Bizarre. Another member. Thank you very much. I think... I think we're now above 300 members, I think. I need to check it. But thank you, guys. 236, that's a shocking lap. There's just moments like that, you get it wrong, it the car just like gives up. Use the hurricane for the lols. Oh boy. That's a death sentence. The hurricane would be absolute death around here. That car is so difficult even in the dry. Would you ever play more eye racing? Tomorrow's video. That's uh, that's all I'm going to say. Mr. Anti Ant, any live races? Um, I assume you mean just. Get it. Uh, live races. One second. Um, you sign my steel book in NYC. There is that. But um, oh yeah, I have done some signatures. I forgot yeah, about that. You keep behaving that way. Uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, I did sign some... I did a couple, actually. On the Grand Turismo World Tour, I signed a couple of things for a couple of guys. But yeah, I completely lied to you. Bob Bain, um... Transferred from Sparta. Thank you, Fog Bain. Um, what was that question I was answering? I can't remember now. Live races. Um... Hmm, I've, well, at the, at the moment there's no plan, but I, I, I wanted to go to the Monaco GP. I've been there in November, I'm going there tomorrow. And I'd like to do one of the Grand Prix there. Um, but I don't know, I don't really have any plans at the moment. I'd like to go to some BTCC, possibly at Brands Hatch. Um, but we'll see. Sailing wide. Come like on, an ice rink. Yeah, these laps. These laps aren't very good, by the way. You can probably tell that. What about Le Mans? I was thinking about Le Mans, yeah. I wanted to go to that this year. Um, yeah, so possibly. I think the most likely thing I'll do is go to Le Mans in June. Um, if I don't go this year, I'll certainly go next year for the new hypercars. Why my feet? Yeah, I don't know. I have this weird thing with my feet. I shake. So I shake my feet. I, I'm not even thinking about it. It's just uh, something I do. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this. Another member. Oh, my God. Tim Shelton. Big shout out to you, mate. Thank you very much. Get it. Yeah, I only found out about 20 minutes before his live stream that there's a load of football games on tonight. Um, so you have to keep me updated on the... Arsenal and Chelsea yeah, score. Look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa! 
Stu Stretch, your donation hasn't come up on the screen, but you said for the Monaco fund, awesome new socks for those oversized flippers. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Thank you for the 20 quid. That's very generous of you. Very, very generous. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I do need to get some new ones. I Annoyingly, I had those um, Master 787B socks. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? But um, I ripped them. I do this thing a lot where I put my socks on and I just do it too hard and I just rip. I just rip them. Such an idiot. What an idiot I am. I need to stop doing that. It's too strong for my socks. Yeah, there's a couple of really nice ones on the heel tread. So I'll go, I'll go and have a look, mate. Well, no, I mean, I asked them for free from them, honest, because I'm advertising their socks. They they obliged, so I'll ask them again for some. Righty then, we got Bellin in the Z4. Hell yeah, a couple of. There's a mix of R8s and 911s mostly. Someone's in the Huracan in 16. An absolute madman. What an absolute animal that guy is. Matt Amos, go to Le Mans. We'll do it, mate. Let's sort it out. The longer we wait, the more expensive it will be. Um, which car did I use for my best time? Um, the Audi R8 I used. Thank you, Anonymous's cousin. Um, I used to. This is my job now. Um, I've been full time on YouTube since um, when was it? June 2018. So a year and a half. And if you want to know about everything, type in on YouTube how I became a full time racing game YouTuber. I've got a whole video on it. Oh, we've got plenty of pink pigs up in here. First and third. Nice. Cheers, Tommy, for dropping by. And um, hopefully there'll be an event this year where I'll catch up with you again. I, I hate the chicane that started messing you right up. Look at this. Like, what an awkward place to start. So stupid. They've got to sort that out. It's really... Look, like, I'm five and a half seconds off the off the lead already. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why push is so like at a stupid angle. Push at a really stupid angle. Oh well. There you go. Oh, you do need to fuel save in this race. So that is something I'll have to monitor throughout the course of it. A little bit wide. Oh, you're spinning. See you later, mate. This race is so tough mentally because it's so easy to make one mistake and you lose when you make a mistake you lose so much time like that that was the drive braking line anyway look I went on the internet this week and I found this 
Thank you, Terry. I forgot to read out your donation, I think. Thank you for becoming a member as well. Yeah, he was actually. Get it. Will they listen to community feedback? I guess they will, but they kind of do it. They kind of do their own thing, I think. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? <laughs> I'd love to know what I was doing. I probably was watching F1 back then. I was probably just sat there watching him. Or well, not actually watching him. But watching the TV, mate. Yeah, that's lap one. Melon's getting away. saying a big thank you to all this this crowd. I mean you guys have been amazing. Sky Yeti? Definitely recommend Le Mans. Yeah I would like to go. Um, last time I went was uh, I've been twice. Um, 2009 I went and I went in uh, when was it? 2017 to so competed on Forza. Yeah, it's a great event. Definitely want to go again. And yeah, like, uh, like I said earlier, if I don't go this year, I'll definitely go next year. The new hypercars. Can't wait for that, to be honest. Oh, he's almost binned it. Just kept it. Get all over that grass. Okay. If they six, what's that? I'm quite a long way off the, the pace, to be honest. Rev out a little bit more. Okay. I have to go on the Albon account, I think. See what the noobs are up to around here. I think Ericsson hit us. 
Nikki Blake. I will read these out just after this race. I do appreciate it, everyone. Thank you very much. Am I catching Bellin? No, the gap's getting a tiny bit bigger, if anything. So those spa karting videos you might have watched, on the right-hand side there, you can just see it. There is the kart circuit just over there. That's where I did it. Well, that's where I made those videos. second half of the chicane and I just lost like eight tenths there because of that it's just ridiculous how much time you lose oh god He's your cousin. Better tell him, mate. Oh, someone's off. What's happened here? First and second wipes each other out. Lol. Oh, he's gone. Honestly. Up to third. What the f are we doing here? Happened there. I'll just save the replay. Lewis, thank you. Went to get rid of the cone assistance. Um, well, it's just up to you, really, isn't it? Um, I suppose when you can look, just just take them off. Just do it now. There you go. So, problem sorted. Just learn. Okay, I'll have a look on the this was on. Whoa! Just learn some breaking points. There are cones. Job done, mate. No time like the present, my friend. One nil Chelsea. I could have guessed. Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Bobster? Jorginho. Penalty. Let me guess. David Luiz conceded a penalty like an absolute idiot he is. Call me up again. Yeah, I don't know if I like the rain physics, if I'm honest. Um... It's broken! It's broken! Anti school! It's oh. off. I mean, I don't know how realistic it is, because I've never driven a, a race car in... Oh, we did it! Oh, I thought we spun it then. Um, I've never driven a race car in the rain. I don't know what it's like, but... There's no... I don't like the fact that... Um, you just take the dry line, but slower. It doesn't really make sense, you don't... I don't know if... Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> There's like no room for doing different lines, which you normally would do in the rain. Thank you, Anonymous. So normally, you would go like a little bit deeper into the corner and then, then cut back and have a straighter exit, but it doesn't really work on this too much.
Can I catch Jim here? Looks like Ben is going to win this in a Z4. Absolute animal. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> I feed nut. Yeah, David Louise with the red card, Chelsea one up. There's a surprise, everyone. Okay, I've got a big gap behind now. Oh, that's beautifully taken. Come on. The game time through here as well, surely. Yeah, 1.1. Fast lap. My fastest lap. Two laps to go. This could happen. Especially with the slipstream now. Get yeah, Luis. Yeah, Luis is too reckless. He's a bit wild, isn't he? Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. It's on now, mate. The slipstream is really strong. You have to break a tiny bit earlier as well. See, we've got a purple first sector because of that slipstream. It's very hard to go for a lunge because you're just going to sail wide. Oh, no, he's gone wide there. I get alongside him. I'm sorry. I had to get alongside him. It didn't work. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Bye, sec. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's too hot. Bob. Whoa! A toe tape. Thank you. I just but butchered the poo on there. Come on. At least I'll get the toe off the back straight. Get in there, Lewis. I have big feet. They're not that big. They're size 8. Just the camera's quite close. Oh, he's gone very deep there. I can't get a cut back on him. Where is he? Now he's going to get a slipstream on me. Okay, I've got more than enough fuel here. I fuel saved too much. I rev out every gear now. Where is he? He's still there. Deep, surely. A little bit. Uh. Yes. Back.
Bring it home, baby. Oh, man. The tyres are going off as well. That's a little bit wide. Just gonna have my slipstream up this back straight. Oh, you can go for a move into that chicane, you just never know. Go on, do it. Send it, mate. Block it. Am I breaking way too early into there? Stefan, try the uh, no more anarchy on track livery. No more anarchy on track livery, McGann, or R8. By DTM Snoopy. I like his style. Maybe I'll take a look, mate. Well, thank you for the donation, Stefan. Meme win with his head four. Man, he was quick. Ben, and, I mean, he started in front of us. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Started directly in front of us and finished eight seconds ahead. I just did not have the pace. Um, Akoli, thanks very much, mate. Cheers, broski. Um, thank you, Vysak. Uh, you look like K-pop. You look like a K-pop star today. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. And uh, driving in conditions like this, does the grip reflect the spotty wetness on the track? Breaking and turning on the dry spots is crucial when racing. Um, I don't think there's any difference on the track. It's just like the whole track is the same amount of grip, from what I can tell. Um, it might be like when it's in the dry, when you have the, the marbles off the track, off the racing line. I can't really tell much difference. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone. In, in this um who donated just there and um, blake said do you think any other entries will be able to match the aston martin valkyrie oh pfft. if you're talking about lamont i don't know i don't know the entrance i don't know who, who's going to be in it uh sky yeti definitely recommend lamont went last year absolutely incredible the sound of the gt yeah man the um what was it corvette i distinctly remember should expect that to be out just American. That thing was let's save that replay. Let's have a look at what happened to that guy who was leading. Always interesting to see. Um and Mr. Antian, will PD ever begin to listen to community feedback? Um I mean, they probably do, but they just do it in... Honestly, what the f*** are we doing here? They just do it in secret. They're not... They don't say, hello everyone, we listened to everything you said, and here's something we've added. But, I don't know. They probably... I'm sure that they read feedback and may well act on it, but who knows. I, I get the gist that they, they're the kind of company who just... They'll do the thing that they want to do. And if you don't like it, then get on with it. Who knows? Uh, thank you, Anonymous's cousin, once again. <laughs> Any plans on doing nations? Yeah, that's a good point. You know what? I think we should Let's do it for the lols. As bad as it's going to be. Right, let's just let's just have a look at this replay. Um, no doubt, quite interesting things happened. Use inters actually, because I think this race um, I means some very interesting things happened there. Francis pinned it instantly, um, but it's actually quite a boring race. I think it settles down and like 
The gaps are too big for the most part. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. A Lotus vs. Simulated Lotus uh, LG20. Um, I don't know. A simulated load cell, I don't know what that is. So I can't really give you an answer for most. What are those faces? So you see Bellin was right in front of me here. And then... It was eight seconds away by the end. Pretty crazy. Yeah, we'll have a look at Bellin's pace at the end. I just want to have a look at this. What happened between these two? I'm in the R8 here. I like the delivery. I think it was it. Not quite close there. I think it was lap 4. Punted? Okay. Quite late. Yeah, there was definitely contact. Definitely contact. Bashed him. Interesting. It's just one of those moments, like the car just gets away from you and it's just almost impossible to recover it. So, quite frustrating. It gets back at him, does it? And the brakes nicely, and he just cuts the corner. What the? Oh, it's, it looks like he just... What, control disconnected, or... Um, he just gave up. Bill died, yeah, it looked like that. Just came through it and then... Oh! Don't fancy playing anymore. Boom. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> then, then he gets going and then he quits just now. Then. There. Oh, no surprise to see the Lambo in last. That thing is uh, scary to handle. Coming to Francis, he finished like 17th or something. He's got, like way down. Oh, up there. Do a bit wide. Lambos and Inters. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, you don't want to be on Inters. Yeah. Oh, way too wide. A penalty for good measure. Oh. It's the thing, right? In real life, you would not get a penalty for that. You obviously lost time. You obviously lost time. So, in reality, there's a penalty. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Jay Taylor Massey got you into the Gran Turismo. Or back into Gran Turismo. Uh, into Good stuff, mate. Always happy to hear it. I do appreciate it as always. Hope you're enjoying your experience. Your stay on Grand Turismo. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's just like it's almost nothing to it. It's just so so nonchalant. It's all oh, way around. It's like the slowest spin you ever see. Further. Oh, we got in a group there. Trouble. The R8s are coming. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, he's been again. What's going on? Here? Um, the Corvette. I think the Corvette might be a good shout. I can't promise it, mate. I can't promise Trent. Oh, it's just the slowest spin, and he's like, oh. 12. Man, he's bottling this big and he's... <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> to be fair, like, I could easily uh, do that. Um, okay. Let's see if anyone is hosting a lobby. I'm going to do the FIA. Um, why the hell not? The track is... I should just host it, shouldn't I? I should host one. GT 
Get up on the screen now. Up on the screen now. Nations Cup. Go. There it is. Um, okay. Create room. Load setting. I don't have any loaded settings on this. F I A. We don't have much time to practice. Oh, oh well. Okay, Dragon Trail Gardens. One. Apps. Laps it is. Let's see. 18. 18. Quite a lot, but it's a quick car, so. Time of day. And that's a rolling start. Yeah. No, grid start. Grid start. Hell yeah, baby. Love that. Um, Grid order. Passes first. Slip straight. Tire wear. Then. Rule four. Build. Go P. Part usage of um, using soft, hard, racing soft. And let's have a look at the details. Have, you have to use all three. Okay. Bloody hell. That's interesting. Um, God. Okay. I've created the room. I have to use all the tires. That's. That's um, weird, but interesting nonetheless. I'm going to have a quick sneak peek at someone else's live streaming. We're going to do a bit of stream section and um, check out what's going on here. See, I, I want to know this strategy, what people are doing. They're actually in the race here. Okay. So you use see what cars everyone's using first off bit of stream section for you here um like yeah that the 08 nissan that they okay, start on the softs he's doing it I mean, this might not be the right strategy but sure we'll find out it's in that sit softs again end of 12 for softs again what's going on here how's he going to use all of them he goes in at the end of 16, medium. Wait, did I get that wrong? Did I get that wrong? I think I did. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. That was a bit weird. Okay, um, I want the OA. Go two on hards, eight medium, then eight soft. Look after the tyres, okay. Yeah, get the get the hard one out of the way. Softs for the whole race. Do a no stop. But what you can do is softs on the front, one medium, one hard. Then you don't have to pit. You've used all the tires. You have to. Right, we've got twenty minutes here. Let's make the most of it. Francis is saying six soft, six soft again, or medium too hard. So quite a lot of pit stops. What am I on now? Medium. Great. I might as well use the soft, because that is what I'll be using the most in the race, I think. Okay. Go. Yep. Yeah. Back on some inters and some wets. It might rain, you never know. 
They might secretly add. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. They might secretly add um, a rain update halfway through the race for this track. Hayden, cheers, my friend. Cheers to you. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Thank you very much. Is it a fuel saving race? A little bit. I'm in Prague. I was in Prague a few years ago. What a, what a place that is, mate. Have fun. Sure, shift this baby get to get to the end. Um, right. Well, that grip through there is amazing. Absolutely incredible, lads. Is that a safe thing to do? It feels alright in this car, actually, doing that. Riding the sausage. Then we just love riding the sausage. Yeah, the strategy, yeah, it can often be about where you start. That is very, very true. Like if you're at the front, you can, you can afford to use kind of want to use a softer tyre at the start of the in there. Or do you? Maybe you don't. Be, um, I'm, I think I'm gonna be. Oh god, that guy's all over the place. I think I'm gonna be in like third or fourth split. I'm just wondering what uh, the qualifying sort of time will be. In many ways, it doesn't matter. Just drive as fast as you possibly can. a good track for this car. It, I don't know, it goes really well around it. Wow, where did that come from? Oh god, I hope I'm not in top split. <laughs> That'd be a big rip. Oh god, that's wide. Why is everyone going around so slowly? Are they doing qualifying simulation?
Um, this is in group two. Yeah, this is going to be a group two race. Do I need to move that bias back? This is a really good combination, I like this. I'll probably be crap in the race, but... are dying around this track someone just put on wet tires is that some sort of sick joke they're just waiting for that rain update it could happen you never know way too wide avoiding that curve. Interesting. Well look, you never know, it might rain. They might look they might surprise us with a mid race update. Rain for Dragon Trail Gardens. Well the tires get shocking by this point. A Bono! Hey! I've got no grip! I'm gonna lap this guy again. Yeah, there's plenty of clouds. I mean, look at those clouds. Some of those look pretty ominous. Give it five minutes, it'll be raining, I bet. I think I might have to use the RPG for this race. End someone's career. Um, it's gone to soft again. Actually, that was a bad idea. I should practice the mediums, really, shouldn't I? Let's do one lap and then come in, do mediums. I've only got five minutes till the race. Oh, it just launches that curve. Oh, man. I'm just worried about my qualifying. That's not going to be that great. Yeah, I'm just puzzled as the strategy because we could just do uh, two stops. We could also do three, do two stints on softs to really minimise the stints on hard and mediums. Yeah, this game's a bit weird. A couple of you asked, a couple of you asking why you should do less laps on the hard. Because normally, obviously, hard tyres last longer. But they're just slow. Um, it's just not worth using them for too long because they're just slower. 
you don't actually want to be on them too long. That's often the case. Yeah, and, and I know that for a fact I, I'm not the best, I'm not too bad, but I'm not the best at preserving tyres, so often it is better for me to do more stops if, if that's possible. I'll finish this lap and then we'll jump into the session. It doesn't feel too different. It just feels like warm softs. Oh, uh, yeah, th these mediums feel like warm softs. jump into this race then that was a good race well done almost no worries see you again you're fast bye goodbye right let's do it that was our practice depends who's in this race um i have i think my rating has dropped a little bit in fact no it dropped a lot on my main account my main account it went below sixty thousand. but on this i think it's like 60 Right, there we go. Last split. Do it. Um, yeah, you can't do the mixed tyre anymore. So you can't have different compound on the front and the back. You're not allowed to do that. I think they changed that like two weeks ago. Free practice. Free practice. But yeah, you can't do that any longer. The price. Super G in before Super GT pulls it on top speed. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Will Firth, thank you, mate. Um, thanks for the constant entertainment. We love you, and I love you. Thanks, mate. I do appreciate that. That's very nice of you. I'm sure there are some of you who don't love me. Mm. <laughs> Yes, mate. Thomas. Timmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Top 10 as well, nice. Um, in quality, how long does it take to warm up tyres? Um, not too long. Like, third of a lap, if that, I think. There's probably an exact science behind it, but if you just go full pace for like third of a lap or like a couple of corners should pretty much be there in my experience it's not too long it'd be nice if you jump into some sort of telemetry um, and it, it will show you but alas you cannot yeah David Perrell's up there he's got a decent lap time six first corner I haven't got it right I don't think you have to commit quite late to it I'll commit way too early way too early right that really is not enough practice but here we go normally when I do these F I oh god I'm in top split well, well, <laughs> when Williams Fuverosh is here, um, you're in top split. We've got Firestorm, we've got Key 25. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Ripperoni. Right, here we go. Pole position, baby. Let's do it. I've been sandbagging this whole time. 
you watch this pole position. You freaking watch this, mate. I reckon this is an easy pole position. I mean, Fuvarosh, he hasn't even won a world tour yet. And neither have I. We're basically even. I'm basically as good as he is. Okay, that's the risk of riding the sausage. See ya! Oh, you fucker. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, sorry. Oh, my car's damaged. Quintin, I needed this practice. Your bell end. I need all the practice I can get. And you go and do that to me. How am I going to get pole position now? <laughs> I'm a beginner. I think that's Momo's in disguise. <laughs> oh, key 25. I think I ended his career there. Okay, my car's fixed now. cheap little ghost trick there sent him to the shadow realm without even doing anything major f for key 25 shameful rammers part two gran turismo edition Okay, here we go, pole position, being freshly served by Super GT. Here we go, look, straight out, no messing about. What's a good brake bias for this? Okay. What am doing? Now, yeah, now I've got bumper damage. Good one, mate. Minus two. Okay. That's what I was on. Do it there. Does everyone go for one lap, I'm guessing? Burn, pit, burn, lap. That's kind of the new strategy. I thought this five minute session would get rid of fuel burning, but it doesn't really. It's just the same, but half the length. Which pedals am I using? It's all linked in the description. What the hell is it? What is that? He's going to get it in the race. I'm, I'm, I've got a target on my back, I think. <laughs> Everyone's tried to wrap me off. Hello. Williams Feverosh. What a guy. <laughs> Even he's taking me out. Everyone's taking me out.
I thought Fruvarosh was the nicest guy on earth, and no, he's just killed me. What is this? I need, I need to just, I actually need to pole it and just clear off into the distance so that no one can touch me. That's actually going to be my strategy. Yeah, it's like they've added Battle Royale mode. Gran Turismo. Yeah. Let's freshen up the RPG. Alright, we've warmed it up. Got it ready for the race. That's how I'm actually going to secretly win this. They won't see it coming. Surprise RPG. No one expects it. No one. Right, it's a good idea to not get behind me because I'm going to be so slow. Let's go. Pull that baby, let's do it. Almost bowled it. doing high 21s, low 22s. Oh, no. Come on. Uh, I don't think it's too great. One. 22 two. I'm not miles off the pace of the pack. I beat some people. Okay. That's, that's not too bad for like the amount of practice I did. Yeah, that chicane here, like there, I lost. I lost a couple of tenths. I could have been. I could have been level with key, I reckon, if not for that. I could have been. I could have been ninth. I'll take that, to be honest. For a first lap. I didn't even do any qualifying practice really. Okay, we'll go with that. Everyone in the same car, apart from Bavroche and the other guy, a Honda, brave choice. Yeah, so I was thinking, I was like, I didn't know if I needed dirty, um, obviously don't want dirty air, but I was thinking like, I was getting the slipstream and I thought, actually no, group two, you don't really want it, do you? Bad thing. Um, start on hards. Get rid of them. Then we got on. Then what? Mediums. Do the hard. Get rid of it. Um, and we have 17 laps to do. Three more stints. Medium. 
then they go on to softs, yeah. Then maybe medium at the end. Softs for... Stick on the wets, yeah. I reckon that's a safe choice. Because I'm not going to win unless we do some inspired strategy. Go on the wets. Light rain. Yeah, I'm doing a three stop. I think three stop's better. Um, so. We're we'll starting the hard. Yeah, I'm thinking hard, soft, um, hard, soft, medium, soft, or it'd be that hard, soft, soft, medium. It would just be the last two, medium, soft, or soft, medium. Yeah, hold people up at the end. This, yeah, because with the dirty air, yeah, you kind of want track position, don't you? Defend like fuck the last few laps. Why didn't they do the Key 25 Rage intro? Disgusting. Why did they change it back? Right, are we burning fuel here? Right, Fuvarosh sending me to the Shadow Realm in the pit lane. I changed my view on him. Fuvarosh is an absolute beast. When it comes to that, um, any track with the Audi R8 when it's race B, no tyre wear, and he, things he can do. That car. Yeah, fuel save, so shifting three quarters of the way long. Don't yeah. Got it. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Look at Iggy. Realistic. Um, in some respects, it's not completely realistic. Why not iRacing? Because I'm playing Gran Turismo. I mean, tomorrow's video is is iRacing. Um, but you know, I don't. This is something that people always say, like, why not iRacing? Well, because I don't always want to play for realism. I just play for enjoyment. And sometimes I want realism, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't. I just want to have a good race. And on this you can have good races. Sometimes you don't, but... And this is easy to jump on. You can just turn it on, have a quick race easily. No messing about. That's what, that's what I like. Hey, Hydro Type R, not heard of him. Hey, he's a pop. Heard of this guy. Right. Get it. There, Lewis. Thank you, Alex. Good luck and keep up the great content. Thank you very much. Are we? We want TCS here. I'm doing it. one place oh god here we go oh boy it's a mess oh someone's in the wall who's that Quentin see ya Two positions gained. And it's lights out. And There's a giant lizard on the track. Thank you for that donation. I will check it out in a moment after this race. Oh, he's... <laughs> this guy. He's called Savage. And that was a savage takeout. Loving a bit of that, mate. Everyone behind me is hating me right now. go for that oh my god oh okay yeah thanks for that mate 
Ah, suck it. And we dropped all those positions. Oh, yeah, these tyres are shocking. Soft. Okay. <laughs> that was a messy lap, bloody hell. A bit more fuel saving now. Okay, let's go. Quite a um, short pit lane here. Don't lose too much time from each pit stop. Although to be fair, that's kind of true of every track now. The way that they do them. E25's in. The hard. You did two laps. Okay, I'll have a look on the internet. And this was on. Whoa! Oh, Martinelli. Good stuff. Good to hear it. Martinelli's actually a good player, you know. This would be a race of picking up the pieces, I think, from people who crash and make mistakes. Q25 and Hugo going at it. It's key on mediums, you reckon? He's quite... He's not that quick on this lap. Oh, he's fighting. He's not going to give that one up. He's on mediums. I was going to say, he does seem a bit off. No, I didn't think he'd be on softs. If I could beat Key, that would be a, a miracle. Miracles do happen, mate. Twenty percent fuel used after three laps. Yeah, I've got fuels over a bit more than that. I've got the dirty air now. Bit annoying. Are 
the yellow. That person's recovered already. mean that but I'll take it that's a move <laughs> yeah the mediums I'm preparing myself for those because they're not going to be that great <laughs> Take a surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah, I do like these ones. One of my faves. One more, and I'll come in at the end of this lap. This is going to be a messy race with everyone all over the place, I think. In terms of strategy. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, Stupid look. Mistake. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Wiggy. now. No, nothing left. Guys on my left. Get me one, mate. Going on to soft again. Seventeenth. Wiggy. Thanks for becoming a member as well. Oh man, it feels so good having grip.
Well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Scott. See ya. Okay, there's a big group up ahead. Let's just try and get a little bit closer to them. What country is that? I just passed. Slovakia or Slovenia? I think it's Slovakia. There's quite a few countries. There's two countries that have like almost exactly the same flag, but they're slightly different. And I often get it wrong. Right, we're coming to halfway and I'm on 48%. I do need to say more. Garage, Northern Garage. Cheers, mate. Okay, so I'm definitely on fresher tyres or new it or softer tyres than this guy. So I don't want to stay going in too long. I have to fuel up a tiny bit of the pistol. I don't know. I just need to get good at fuel saving. A big lift through there. Look at that big group up there. That spells trouble. For everyone in it. Oh, and this guy. See ya. Don't you just love that? Now I don't have to bother overtaking him or losing time in dirty air. Great stuff. Yeah, slipstream doesn't really help in group two though. It's all like if you follow someone for a lap, you probably lose more from dirty air than you do than you gain from slipstream on the straight. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? Yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Savage is behind me. Don't go savage on me, mate. Please. Thanks for that donation just there. I need utmost concentration at the moment. Oh, penalty. Oh my on. Six laps remaining. Yeah, I do need to save a little bit more.
do it cleanly, mate. Right, last lap of these tyres. Well, this savage guy is stupid. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's all over the place. Now, now, in front of him again. Yeah, he just punted Fuverosh as he come out of the pit lane. It's like, are you blind? There's a car in front of you. I can see him on the radar, he's just going for stupid moves. He's all over the place. Absolute animal. British Momos. This fuel save quite a bit at the end here. Oh, when we're coming out. 15. 14th, okay. Let's see how this goes. Not the best tyre anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> if I come across Savage again, well, to be honest, he's just going to end up in the Shadow Realm himself, I think. Never too long before something like that ends, ends their own career. Oh, is this going to be another place? Yes. Shouldn't have chosen the Honda, bro. Well, they just made contact back there. Okay, 12th. Come on. Three laps after this one. Possible fuel 2.9. Still need to save a bit more. Let's coast around here a little bit. Oh, no, not enough. Yeah, I've changed fuel map for like a couple of corners. Middle of the lap. gaining on these guys actually <laughs> 
What an idiot. Whenever I say something good, whenever I say something good. <sighs> I'll say. Major F up in here. So many Fs. I think my career's over. I mean, that's it. That's it. Delete the channel, mate. Delete it. Game over. Back to where I started. After all the mistakes I've made, I suppose that's not too bad. 10% fuel. Come on. Let's keep 15. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I was riding the sausage pretty well all race. Then one time me to the shadow realm don't ride the sausages no it's better to ride them but just to get it right it's easy to say don't ride them but if you don't ride them you'll be like a billion years off the pace so thank you jack for the reminder i effed it big time Could have expected Arsenal to lose with 10 men, but there you go. Just to rub in the salt into the wounds. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Bottle cheating. I'm back to my old self here, I think. Okay, I'm going to have to fuel save here. Last lap. Major roof, mate. That's the best way to summarise it. Oh, what happened there? P1 off. The uh, Firestorm was winning. And he's not even in the top three. That's a big oof. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Ollie, once again, mate. didn't use one of the tyres. That's why. <laughs> what? What's he done? Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, man, P6 ain't gonna happen now, unfortunately. How could he go? I guess, obviously, he didn't know, but... How would he not know by the fifth Split by the first, by the fifth race. Not to use all the tires. I think Firestorm's career is over, mate. Key twenty five finished in sixth place. Good job. Good job. It was behind me at one point. I think I could have finished in that gap there. So tenth, maybe I think I could have got. 
could have done. I'd, uh... Um, but maybe 11th or 12th, certainly that area. Oh well, three points like 35. I wouldn't have got a good point totally, but I still only did one slot. Well, 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 that's what you call a bottle, ladies and gentlemen. Like what I did as well. But he probably did it deliberately. There anyway, does he? Firestorm. Out of here. Oh, right. Try, try a penalty strategy. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, because you think 20 second penalty. Could you possibly, like, outrun, just use soft, 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 and just outrun that 20 seconds? Get 20 seconds ahead of everyone by using softs. Quite an interesting thing. Like, at some combinations, it might be possible, depending on the, the requirements and the tire wear. Anyway, look, I went on the internet this week and I found this 3D media. Thank you very much. Let's jump into this and qualify properly. The milk wagon. Thank you, 3D Media, and thank you to those guys that donated during that race. Um, Lobster, Jack Winnie, Moist John, Eric Yeah Baby, Scott Mansfield, Mark Lewis, Devon, Northern Garage. Push Key off for another rage intro. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Super GT versus Key 25. I'll pay to see it. We do have a video, but this was like more than a year ago. Um, and to be honest, he, I mean, he has the edge on me, 100%. It's, it's not. I mean, it depends on the on the combo. I think if I put a lot of time into a certain combo and then we raced it, it be, wouldn't be too far off. It wouldn't be too far off, but... but for now, he, he would edge it. Right, there we go. Let's get a better lap. We've got six minutes. Should, might be able to get four laps in. Oh, I don't know if I go that slowly. Get it. Thank you, Matt Foster. Johnson. Yeah, Johnson doesn't even make, doesn't do YouTube anymore. If you go on Johnson's channel, he's um, he stopped. Um, so that, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna start doing videos again. Maybe when Forza Eight comes out, but. Car's got so much grip, you just have to really trust it. Really get the power down early. Yeah, it's a lot slower than Group Two. That Group Two car was really nice to drive at that track, uh, Dragon Trail. Really enjoyed that, despite bossing it so many times. It was a fun race until I met the sausage. My true adversary is the sausage. The sausage of doom. Because I, was, I was taking that chicane right for the whole race and then, you know, just one mistake is all it takes. Going fourth there.
too wide. That's a lot of time. Okay, it's going to be a tiny bit quicker, but I reckon I'd go three or four tenths quicker. I can do a low 29. I'll get it right. Too wide. Come on. Too wide of that apex still. Not beating that apex at all. Then fourth here. Up. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Two all, bloody hell. Look forward to watching that one on Match of the Day later. Wait, Match of the Day is on in what, 20 minutes? Okay, that's three tenths. I can still go quicker than that though, I think. Yeah, that's a lot smoother, come on. Be a tenth up. I need to meet this apex of this corner for once. Oh, yeah, there's games tomorrow as well, isn't there? This map. Uh, can be a little, a little bit too early. Two tenths. Boom. I could do a twenty eight, I reckon. Twenty nine one. Okay, I'm happy with that little session there. That was not too bad. Uh, this car is the Renault Megan Trophy with a stunning new color. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Lane Quick. Hello from the States. You're a badass, my dude. I don't know why I went American in that bit, but uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you very... Oh, sick. Should have known, really. Oh, the guy in poll. Eight tenths... Seven tenths quick. No, eight tenths quicker. Bloody hell. Okay. Gan Trophy. Is there a car that can beat this thing? What would beat this? Cayman? 86, Toyota 86? 4C? I think. What could beat it? Or... Veyron. Obviously, the Veyron is the true one true god. Group four, the Mitsubishi. I just, I can't 
can't do anything today, can I, without someone ramming me off? What brake bias am I using? There we go, plus one. Flight to the back. Super GT left foot brake in real life. Um, not in my real car, not in my road car. I don't. In a go kart, I do because there's only two pedals. In a GT car, I do. Not that I've driven them many times, but when I did, I did. Here we go then. Four C, yeah. Get it. I'll be working it. Try. WRX, race B, four C, yeah. Four C might be worth a try. The Ferrari. Wow, where did that come from? The Ferrari might be a good shout, actually. It might be a horrible shout. I don't know. John Perry, do they uh, show the Super Bowl live? Um. I'd imagine they show it somewhere. If, if you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Jesco Fund. It's going to happen, lads. Again, the Koenigsegg. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I mean, Super Bowl's going to be one of those things that you have to... I mean, they don't show it in, like, pubs and bars and things, I'd imagine. But, um... But it's not... I don't think it's on, like, normal TV. You'd have to probably pay to watch that. Or go out to a pub. Cheers there for the donation. Um, the closest thing the Forza, uh, the Forza has, the closest thing that Xbox has is Forza. It's not quite. I mean, it's not too far off. It's the same type of game. It's the physics are a little bit different. I say a little bit. They're quite a lot different. Um, a little bit more arcadey, but it's a very similar type of game in the grand scheme of things. I mean, what other options you've got? Project Cars, um, a set of Corsa on Xbox. I wouldn't say the Xbox or a set of Corsa is all that great. You might as well get the PC one. Or a PC. If you don't like Forza, then maybe uh, Project Cars would be as close as you can get, I suppose. Drop it off here. Come on. Ooh, just went a little bit wide. Still on though, it's all right. Get it. <laughs> well, there you go. Got some Super Bowl information on the screen right now, mate. Thank you, Matt Foster. Oh, there's a lunge for third. Slide down, turn the wheel, and if you 
Hill will go a little bit faster than all the others. Look at John B's! I have to have a look. Yeah, I can't remember this. Yeah, when did this combination come up last? It must have been quite a while ago. Thank you as always, John. See ya. See ya. Oh, hello again. Oh, he's pinned it. Right, last lap. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Miracles do happen, Firebird. Congratulations, mate, on your first win. Always a good moment in anyone's racing career. Get that first victory. Get in there, mate. Fantastic drive. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Oh, man. Lothar. Thank you so much. Don't give up your day job. Well, funny enough, YouTube is my day job. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think with a bit of practice, I could have done a, obviously done a bit better at that race. Could have gone in the top ten, but oh well, it wasn't to be on this occasion. Oh, yellow flag! Top two have binned each other. What happened there? Fourth. Okay, it's kind of a tough race because you're in like a because everyone's in the same car, so it can be quite tough to get anything done. But there we go. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I saw that Callum was up the inside, over the right, up the hill, and then all of a sudden, what do you know? They're spinning the other way. Five seconds off the lead. Yeah, I just need a couple of tenths a lap, I think, around there. On that one. Yeah, I'm going to try the Ferrari. I want to give the Ferrari a go. Obviously, I'll be a bit slow in the corner, I think. But then the straight should be a bit better. Have a look. Let's save that replay. Let's get out of here. Can I drive the M8 GTE? No, because it's not in this game. Jump in. Have I got the Ferrari? Ooh, there it is. 5'8 Italia. Audi TT. Oh, man, I hate that car. The Audi TT Group 4 car. As much as I do love the titties, I don't love the Audi TT. It's just understeer machine. Horrible. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. My first ever win at Suzuka a couple of nights ago. Almost a second win until someone rejoining binned me. Love the content. Thank you, Cameron. Get Thank you, Cameron, and congratulations. Have you ever tried playing GT Sport blindfold? Can't say I have. I don't really have a reason to do that. If I'm honest. Um make a video on it. I'm not sure how good that would be watching me crash into a wall every five seconds. Okay. Ferrari 458. Thank you. Um, thank you, Cameron. And thank you, uh, Rift. Right, Ferrari. Pornhub. What? Pornhub livery. Monkey racing team. 
Heavy 18, everyone. Bloody hell. I thank you, Lothar, of course, for that $50 donation. Thank you very much. Oh, no. striked by copper although to be fair my videos aren't made for kids technically so screw you copper I think a lot of people got confused by that copper thing I think who was it um, Viper concept you make you may well have heard this guy does YouTube videos, racing games. But he put... He said that his videos are made for kids, but... Um, I think there's a difference between... I mean, I'd say my videos aren't made for kids, but kids will watch them. But they're not made specifically for kids. So the answer is no, they're not made for kids. And that's, I think, what he should have put, but he didn't. But then he changed it. I'm going to do what Sebastian Vettel couldn't do and bring some glory to Ferrari with the Pornhub livery. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white flies. Stay cool. We're in a good position. I have, but only for about an hour. Um, but... I haven't really got into it all that much. I know Jimmy started playing it again. But um, I've got enough on my hands, I think, at the moment. I probably won't be jumping on it too soon. Now, quite a way off the pace here. Mid-30s. This isn't good. Again, in mid 30. Just so understeering. Well, it would be an interesting race if I can hold my position. a little bit understeering. Then again it would be compared to a, a Megan. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Cheers dubs. Thank you very much mate. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for the donation. Your little legend. Okay, this might dip into a uh, 29. But I'm still off the pace that I would like. A 
That's better. Nah, come on. Oh, I'm still gaining time. Somehow, three tenths up. The giant lizard on the track. Jesus Christ. Oh man, bob that. Well, I'm not going to try reading out that name, but thank you for the donation. I just bottled two tenths. enough so i could have done a 0 0.6 there which would be half a second off but okay this would be interesting look at that inconsistency optimum lap 29.5 hmm okay Let's see what we can do at least we'll be at least we'll be a different car r4m shadow realm Swaggy Lord Z4 Master. Okay, what have we got? A minute till the race. Yeah, it's a difficult track, Brands Hatch. It's not easy to string it all together. I do enjoy it when you do get it. Right. Lewis. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, still testing my first win in GT Sports. Can be very frustrating at times. Lol. But loving the content lately. So keep it up. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, just keep going, mate. Keep practicing. You'll get there. Once you get that first win, um, they'll come thick and fast. I'm sure you. Oh man. Okay, so I'm going to Monaco tomorrow. Um, I'll be landing pretty much this time. All right. And uh, I've got a couple of videos lined up. Tomorrow's video is on iRacing. How about that? iRacing. Yeah. Been a while. I think it's been six months. Five, six months since my last one. Uh, my last video on iRacing. So, yeah. Looking forward to that. Are you still faster on the controller? I was faster on the wheel after after about a week of using the wheel. <laughs> so, no. In fact, I, I, um, I've had my rig for a year now. So, for about a year I've been quicker on the wheel. How much better is iRacing than GT? And, I mean, do you mean in terms of realism? There's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? I think people confuse how good a game is with how realistic it is. They'll just say a game is better because it's realistic. Not necessarily. Eighth on the grid, okay. Callum's actually using the um, Ferrari as well. That's a good idea. Do an updated video, yeah. It wouldn't be fair though because I haven't used the because I haven't used the controller in so long, so I'd be rubbish on the controller, like worse than I ever was. So it wouldn't be a fair comparison.
Oh, where's this guy going? Wrong way there, matey. Mr. Donation, did I? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, what do I think about the T3PA Pro, uh, Pro pedals? Um, did I have those? I think they're alright. They're decent. I don't like the brake pedal as much. I like this load cell that I've got on the Fanatec. I think it's better. The T3PA um, are pretty good. I like. Are those ones you can invert? You can uh, have it... Um, like I've got my pedals here coming up from the bottom or coming down from the top so you can actually uh, change the configuration of those pedals very good um, so I say they're good I just don't like the brake mod you got this little like triangular rubber cone and it's not it's nowhere near as good as a load cell okay seventh if I can gain positions I'll be happy Even if I could stay where I am, I'd be happy. Guys just have so much speed in the corner. So I just need to make the most of this straight here. Run away as much as possible. I think it's the first sector is going to be the, the first half of the lap is going to be the worst. The worst half of the lap. These faster corners, which aren't as bad, I think. He's right there, and I am dropping off. They're quite up the pace. Kind of in, sec in second just to block everyone, I think. Come on. Oh, it's, just, it's so frustrating. I'm just, I don't know, I can't keep up. Yeah, kind of misholding everyone up, but he's still probably driving quicker than I am, so I'm not actually gaining on them. <laughs> oh no, he's just been passed, I think. Oh, he's been wiped out. Someone else has been wiped out up ahead as well. Gained a position. Well, pick up pieces and... Stay here and pick up the pieces. That's all I can do, really. Like half the race. Nice gap behind, 2.2 seconds. I 
Come on, guys, that's it. Start fighting each other. Okay, we have a chance here of something. Uh, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Thank you, Lothar. Um, it's a WRC 8 tournament. Oh, God, late movement. But yeah, it's a tournament on that WRC 8 game. And I'll be um, setting a time on it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, to be honest, but I'm turning up. All the lols. I'll uh, post some of the stuff onto Twitter and Instagram. If you want to have a look at that. So yeah, leaving... The flight leaves tomorrow night at like 8pm. Something like that. Just weird, I've not been to Monaco ever. And then in November I went and I'm going again tomorrow. wide yeah. <laughs> you idiots well it's basically this wolf guy who's the idiot there you go <laughs> up to fourth in the Ferrari okay I'll take that. Fourth in the Ferrari. Up from seventh. I couldn't re... I, I mean, I couldn't beat anyone on pure pace. It's just taking advantage of everyone mullering each other to the shadow realm. Basically. My torque and steering sensitivity. Steering sensitivity is 360. Torque. Um, oh. Let's have a look. Torque. I don't know. I don't know what you mean by the torque setting. Fourth, I will take that. The car just it, it isn't good mid corner. That Megane is just a rocket ship in the turns. No chance you can keep up, really. You're asking for a miracle. What car should I use? Like, the worst car? Veyron. I'm thinking Veyron. Thinking Veyron. Got. Audi TT. I hate that car, to be honest. Uh, Mustang 650. RCF. Veyron. Lambo, mm, 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 mm. Mitsubishi, Peugeot. Hug here would be pretty horrible, I'd imagine. Dodge, have I got a Dodge? I have, I could go and buy one. I want to go with a Veyron, because I think it would just be absolute memes. I know the Peugeot is it's quite a dabbing unicorn on the side, to be fair. Yeah. Let's, let's whip out some liveries for the Veyron. And uh, let's troll everyone. Uh, what am I doing? Well, it's been a while since we used the Veyron. I remember, what race was it? Dragon Trail Seaside used to be alright. Our livery, country. 
Bugatti. I don't know why they have a group four Bugatti, but not a group three. Come on. The worst possible fucking. Sorry, whoever designed it. I'm not. I'm actually not sorry at all. Not sorry at all. Which wheel do I use? Um, the, it's uh, all my equipment. Ugh, all my equipment. Description. All of it. Come on, this could worse than this. Bugatti Veyron's a weird looking car, isn't it? it I mean, it's an amazing piece of engineering, but it does look a bit eggy. A bit eggy, isn't it? Very eggy. The Momo's for a second. Momo's racing. Don't we all love a bit of Momo's racing? Yeah, I suppose these are all just rubbish, aren't they? I just want someone stands out as McDonald's, Snickers, Coca Cola, Pepsi. Oh, and, um, so bad. I'm gonna have to go with that. I'm gonna download this. The lols. Oh, none of those were like. None of those were good. <laughs> I could do a good, better job, and I'm crap at painting. Where's the Bugatti? Bugatti. Yeah. Went right past it. Rubbish, isn't it? Go. Okay. Here we go. Bugatti Veyron. I couldn't think of a worse car. I need. It seems like around here you need the the handling. That's what it. That's what it's all about. Let's see if this hefty chunk. Let's see if this hefty beast of a machine can even turn. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Okay, we've got five minutes to test it. It is an absolute unit. A hefty unit. Absolute hefty chunk. What I need is to get a better qualifying time for them. Get on pole position and then just defend for four laps. The car is the width of the track anyway. Oh boy, look at that. Rear view mirror so you can see when you're getting rammed. Sprite on the, the wing. I suppose it's so big, it's good on the curbs. Deals with the curves quite nicely. It's actually not too bad in the turns. But it feels stable, let's put it that way. This might, in some strange, demented way, it might turn out to be the absolute OP wagon of Group 4 again. And no one knew it this whole time. Oh yeah, it's a short, one of those short shift cars, isn't it? Alexander in-game FFB settings for the CSL 
in game um, as high as possible. Uh, 10 and 10. But honestly, I mean, everyone always asks me for this, but it's just personal preference. Just change it to whatever you think is right. There's no right or wrong answer. I just like strong feedback. But maybe other people don't like strong feedback. So just put whatever you want. I'm still waiting for them to add the Dacia Sandero. It's a bit of a travesty, isn't it, that they haven't added the Sandero in this game? I'm predicting this race isn't going to go well. Look at this, 30.8 on my first lap and I'm slower on this one. Speed through there. Cheers, Key. Yeah, man. I didn't mean. I didn't actually really fully mean to go for that move. I was just breaking where I thought I should break, and it, it just turned out that it turned out to be a really good, good pass. I, I, I bottled it the chicane. I could have finished about tenth, actually. Lewis. <laughs> Foster, Dacia Duster. It needs to be a thing, doesn't it? It really does. It's a bit of a crime against motorsport that it's not a thing. Dacia should um, enter the 2021 Le Mans series with their Sandero hypercar. This is not going to go well. This car is miles off. This is not going to go well. This is a recipe for death. Okay, here we go. Um, well, I always want to start by saying big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Barack Obama in the house. Oh, we've got a couple of Aarons. Good, good to see it. Hell yeah. Thank you, Barack Obama. Always knew you watched. Loves, loves the feet, does Barack Obama. Understeer like a cross-channel ferry. Sounds about right. Turn the wheel, you have to wait about a week for it to actually turn. Yeah, key, um I don't know what it was. I just managed it just worked. My second camera just suddenly worked. I I literally just plugged it in exactly the same as I did before and it worked. Before it wasn't working. So I have no idea. But yeah, my feet are back on the screen. Beautiful stuff, eh? How come you don't play iRacing? Honestly, Tomorrow's video, what mate. are we doing here? Uh, GT7 coming with PS5 launch around Christmas. Question mark. Mate, don't ask me. I don't know anything more than what anyone else knows. But that's the rumour that's been going around. Um... I know I've got a YouTube channel which focuses on Gran Turismo, um, but you know I don't work for them. I don't know anything more than anyone else. So, 
Who knows? I'm sure, we'll find out within a few months. Hopefully. If it is going to come out, that is, we'll find out. Um, if it does come out at launch, hopefully it's ready. You know? We don't want one of these games that releases half broken. Okay. Here we go. We've got two Veyrons, and they're going to be key to this, I think. They're going to be integral to, to my success in this race. If they can hold everyone up, then I might have a chance of gaining, but... <laughs> I'm, predict I'm predicting a messy race here. Hopefully they have the RPG in GT7 from launch. If it doesn't, I'm not buying it. Indicate on each turn. I don't even know what my indicate buttons are. Bumpy passage. Oh, he's he's lost it. See you, mate. Here we go. The defending from the Veyron has begun up ahead. That's what we want to see. In before everyone says, wait, it's a Veyron. The Veyron's the quickest car in the world. Why aren't you winning? You're rubbish. How am I keeping up with this guy? Come on. Here we go. Oh yeah. Give me that speed. Oh, not quite. Oh. That was close. Oh yeah, baby, ride that curb. I love it when you do that to me. <laughs> oh, that guy in third is just... <laughs> Team orders, yeah? Yeah, yeah, defend like fuck for the whole race, mate. Thank you, yeah, yeah. This uh, wolf guy is a bit of a loose cannon. We saw that in the last race. Watch you there, bro. He's right behind me. Good news. Oh! Oh, you f absolute idiot, Wolf. This guy. What an absolute knobhead. What is he doing? He's getting sent to the realm, that's it, I don't care. I think he warrants it. He warrants a realm entry. What is that understood? Jesus. Jesus Christ. This doesn't go around the corner. Yeah, there's no penalties basically in the game now. You can do whatever you want.
close. <laughs> Your round payment has gone through. You are advised to take out the target. Too far back now, unfortunately. This is a bit annoying. Gone purple. Oh boy. Look at that group up there. Only asked part of it. The vey runs off. Oh, what's going on? Back into seventh. Yeah, boys. <laughs> Get a load of that, mate. Mr. Wolf needs to sort his life Get out. Hey, Lewis. He needs to sort himself out big time. Callum with the second in the Veyron. Uh, leaving at dawn. Give Wolf a few blasts with the old RPG. End his career. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, looked like a knife. Cemented. But then... Sick place right at the end anyway look i went on the internet this week and i found this friendly homie thank you man welcome thank you for becoming a member yago called me a bastard okay what did i do to him yago is he uh, Mr. Wolf, I'm s sorry. Oh, yeah, it helps if you don't start punting people. Oh, well. Let's have a look at that replay. See what went on there. That was a, a very strange race. I could have, I could have finished. I don't know, could have finished fourth, maybe. Did Iago... Was he... Right. Because he maybe he thought that I did it, but I definitely didn't. So, let's take a look. Let's analyse what went on there. Yeah, carnage. Is that, that's a very good word. <laughs> it's like, it's, it could be more of a mismatch, a Megan and a, and a Veyron. That's why sometimes it's good if this, everyone's in the same car because everyone's going the same sort of speed. Right. You see how it kicks off. Yeah, telemetry. Okay, so Callum just drove off. He's alright. Batters Racing Co. He was the cork in the bottle in the front here. Why is it around the outside? Contact. Then Yago, come along here. And I'm edging him out when he's already there. So that there, I think. 
But to be fair, he's not giving him any space. He's just running him right into the running him narrow. Broken. It's broken. Anti-stall. He's off. Fuck. Like he Ben Rand. Yeah, the Ben system is uh, still a work in progress. Wipe someone out, like make sure you don't wipe anyone else out. To be fair, like you can look at this. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. The same. Cheers, Kevin. He's, he's like he's there. He's like put his nose there. To be fair, he did run him. He didn't give him much space on the, on the way in. Didn't help. That's why sometimes if they're, if they're there, you just give them the space. And then they're not going to run you out. If you force them narrow, they're more likely to run, run you wide. You've got to make that decision early. Yeah, he just messes everyone. Everyone's ready. Oh, the 4C. Waiting for the 4C, he's gone off. That, yeah, what happened in this final lap then? Look at this group, my god. Uh, I want to see how that car... Oh, so he got... How did he get past? Okay, got a better... Look how far ahead they are. They lose that much time. Balls up turn one. Up the hill. Still side by side. Oh, forceful. Going on the curb. Right down here. No. See that in the meantime, behind the iron very quickly gaining. For a revenge move. Which is never going to happen. How slow he's going through there. Shouldn't have gone for that move, we put him on the back foot here. He just stayed behind. This is where things begin to kick off. Around the back end of the circuit. Oh! Like a very late break. If it's a very long break too early. Inside now. Oh, there's the contact. And then he pushes him off. Not a great situation of awareness, must be said. Can be hard to tell though in that situation. Like literally ruined about four people's races and got four. <laughs> This was a good little pass, actually. But, uh, got him back. Go into the gap. Come on. Have a look. Oh, there we go, just into the gap. He knew it was happening, he tried to defend it, but. Had to park more in the apex. He didn't. Fourth. Yeah, he's going to be a new R4M member. I think everyone in that race is a new R4M member, to be fair. R4M is getting very, very busy. Very, very busy. Okay. We're going to call it there. That's the end of the stream. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. A um, couple of videos lined up this week. In fact, we've got one tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Three more. Three days in a row. Good stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for the donations, as always, and thank you to the new members. Um, good little, good little laugh there we had today. Um, yeah, it stands for Ram for Mao, Chairman Mao, man, what a guy. That's the end. Much love, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Oh,
Thank you.